Hello there. There's been a lot of interest in Arkansas stones, uh, particularly the blacks, the translucents, finishing stones, which is what I do more than anything else with an Arkansas stone. I have a soft and a black, and sometimes I'll do a complete oil stone progression from uh, from a 1K bell set or from, uh, excuse me, an India oil stone to set a bevel, something like that. But most of the time when I do a an Arkansas finish, uh, it's as a finisher in one way or the other. Now, whether that is going from a, a 1K progression through to an 8K progression and then moving to an Arkansas stone, or, or whether that's coming off of that 8K and going to something like a, a 1 micron lapping film or my Escher, or something like that, and then I would go move to the black, or maybe off of Shobu and then move to the black, or off my Kotakul and move to the black, but the black is used more, for me anyway, as a finisher, or what a lot of people would call a, a post finisher, than it is uh, in a progression of Arkansas stones. So that's what we're gonna talk about, because uh, there's some people that are have been having difficulty, and I wanna try to help if I can. Uh, one of the things that you need to understand is that there's two basic truths about an Arkansas stone. And number one being that it is a revealer of truth. And what I mean by that is if you really want to know how good of a honer you are, take your edge and put it on a black or a translucent Arkansas that's properly prepped for finishing and try to finish because you can take I can take like a razor and almost set the bevel on 1k and I can go through a synthetic progression all the way up to 12k and that razor might even pass a hanging hair test but it's not going to give the best of shaves but I can do that and fool myself into thinking you know I'm a good honer I I, I got all the way to 12k and I'm and the razor's shaving and you know, I can find all all kinds of excuses for why it isn't quite that close, but it is shaving, and so, yeah, I did a good job, right? Well, if you take that same razor and you put it on a black Arkansas, the edge will go back. It, you'll be going, well, why is the Arkansas dull in this edge? It's not. What's happened is that you didn't fully get the bevel set, or you didn't fully erase all the scratches through the different progressions, and replace them with the scratches from the higher grit stones or whatever, but there's a link missing in your honing progression. And the Arkansas, as soon as you put that razor on that Arkansas stone, the Arkansas, all it does is polish what you have. So if you put a turd on the Arkansas, that's what you're going to get is a polished turd. And I'm not saying, I'm not calling your honing uh, abilities turds okay but what I'm saying is you know the old saying you can't polish a turd well uh, yeah you can uh, Mythbusters proved that go watch the episode but it's still a turd it's a shiny turd but it's still a turd same thing with uh, a honing progression you know it if you don't have every single point in that progression exactly right and you don't nail it all the way through the minute you put that razor on an Arkansas stone. The edge is done. That's one. Two is just like it, almost. If you do everything right, and it's absolutely perfect, coming off of your finish, your last stone in the progression, your 8K, your 12K, whatever. And you move to an Arkansas stone and you don't take particular care to land that blade exactly right on that stone every single time. If you lift the spine one time on that Arkansas stone, you need to go back to the 12 or the 8 or whatever it is you came off of and maybe a little bit below that and fix it because you just trashed your edge. That's a fact. 
the Arkansas are really the the blacks are translucent. They're they're really 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 dense dense stones. They're incredibly hard. They're harder than uh, ha most of the Jainats and or most any other stone that you can think of. The Arkansas is hard, hard, hard. And if you don't present that edge exactly right, it's done. That's the truth. That's the truth about Arkansas stone. So if you're having trouble with Arkansas honing, particularly finishing on an Arkansas, for one of the things you can, first thing you've got to remember is that edge has to be perfect before it ever touches that Arkansas. If it's not, when you start honing on it, the Arkansas will reveal to you that your edge is not as great as you thought it was. That's one. And two is, like I say, just like it, technique, technique, technique. Your technique must be spot on uh, where you might be able to go back and forth really fast on any other kind of finisher. You might have to go slow and careful and deliberate and easy on a black arc or you're going to have problems. That is, you know, one other thing, burnishing. I don't know if you can see that. But the surface of an Arkansas stone burnishes. It shines up the uh, the crystals in it. I don't know what they're called, the, the novaculite crystals or whatever that bring themselves to the top and do the cutting in an Arkansas stone. When you burnish it, what you're doing is you're uh, flattening all of that out and smoothing all of those the roughness of those particulates out until they are absolutely to, until this is absolutely dense and non-porous. Uh, to the nth degree and what that does is it brings you to a level of polish that you cannot achieve very easily any other way in my opinion uh, do you need to burnish it to that standard to finish razors on it no uh, when I got that stone, it was burnished. A, a friend of mine who gave it to me, the stone was burnished before I got it. But I took the thing and ran a big fat carbon steel cleaver on it for quite a while. And then the next thing I did was just hone on it. Your stones will burnish over time. If you take the time to burnish them to start out with, you'll get much better results. But as you continue to hone on that razor, or on that stone rather, and move steel across it, it will burnish more and more and more and more. And you'll get a glass-like reflective surface on it that is beautiful, uh, but more importantly, creates a beautiful edge. So uh, that is uh, pretty much all I wanted to say. I, I just want to... Uh, try to help those of you that are interested in these stones because in my opinion they're fantastic stones they just they do not forgive they do not forgive poor honing they do not give forgive poor technique they are unforgiving they are unrelenting uh, and if you're going to hone on them you have to understand that it, it will not forgive Okay, I can make a few passes on almost any other stone, stone that you can think of. I can lift the spine on that once or twice. And if I go back to that stone there's enough, and, and present that razor in the, uh, the proper way, there's enough abrasive ability in those stones to straighten that out. Uh, if I do enough passes. It's not the case with the Arkansas stone. So you really, you really got to understand these two principles if you're going to hone on an Arkansas and get good results. All right. I hope that helped. God bless you. I'll talk to you later.